Yes, yes, important Sonic news you want me to talk about. Yay, Amiibo! Sonic will be joining Mario with every tennis, golf, and card game for a while. And finally, Mega Man has something to do. Uh, oh, Sonic Boom. Yeah, yeah. TV show is okay. I'm impressed by Roger Greg Smith and Mike Pollock's voice acting. As they're actually acting, and there's emotions and deeper layers to their punchlines rather than just the irritating look at me and funny attitude they have in the last few games. Yeah, I could did pick a couple jokes of the show, but whatever, I don't feel like it. They're alright, they're not amusing ideas. Don't always quite work, they're not crazy enough for a crazy comedy, and they're not build up enough for a character comedy, kind of falls in between. But I can see wh what they're doing. It's jokes I can see doing myself in my videos. It's alright, amusing visuals. Great animation and color use, I enjoy the CGI. I don't like a lot of CGI shows, I don't know why, it just feels uncomfortable and just lame to look at. But yeah, this is good, I enjoy watching this. It's alright, if you just want to laugh and some silliness, it, it, it works. And for the game, I've seen a couple of Let's Play videos so far, and what can I say, it's... Uh, inoffensive, I guess? Uh, that is, the humor isn't as constant and show-stopping as it was in Colors and Lost Worlds, so people like me can go, Hey, at least it's not Sonic Colors! And the drama and action is underplayed, so other people can go, Hey, at least it's not as melodramatic as Sonic 06! So yay, it's not super obvious bad. I instead, it's just... it's, uh... It's... It's just so dry. Everything just kind of happens. There's no excitement, no wonder, no amazement, no anticipation. Everything just kind of happens. Sonic's chasing Eggman for some reason. Oh, is there danger? Eggman is a hostage. Is there a bomb? Is there some exciting adventure Sonic's dealing with? Uh, no, not not really. Eggman just runs away and Sonic chases him. Because, you know, Eggman is bad guy and Sonic is hero guy, I guess. And then they find a temple and, and there's other bad guy and some old guy with a book says that guy is evil, so you need to find crystals. And then you find time travel, which you need to save some guy's crops because this little farm garden has trouble. It's... it's... it's so boring. The developers managed to solve all the problems Sonic stories had. So everything offending is gone, but so is everything exciting. But... Whatever, I, I don't I, I don't care. I'm not angry, I'm, I'm just bored. Sonic Boom exists. Uh, the 3DS version is written by Pontek and Graf, and yep, it has definitely has the same everyone stands around talking clever dialogue while nothing really happens quality to it. Very Tarantino-ish, except without the violence or drama or anything of note at all interrupting the witty dialogue. I love Eggman's design. Definitely gonna buy an action figure if I find one. And if I catch another episode of the show, I could watch it. It's amusing, it's alright. I have no beef with Sonic Boom. It, it's just okay. Or boring when it comes to the games. Yeah, there are some game glitches. Pfft, whatever, every Sonic game has glitches. Entertain me, and I'll gladly look past the seams. Except I'm not entertained, so... Yeah. There's only one actual problem I have with Sonic Boom, and that's... Uh, isn't this a reboot? Why isn't anything being established? See, this is the one thing I was really looking forward to with Boom. The Sonic Mythos is a mess in the main games. Most characters have fallen into a void with no context or purpose anymore. There was no sense of anything. So with a reboot, they could finally throw this mess off the table and start fresh and new and make us give a damn about these characters again. Uh, but Sonic Boom does nothing to establish its universe. The TV show is immediately subverting and putting twists on the status quo even before the status quo has even been established. Eggman wants to be Sonic's sidekick, isn't that crazy? I don't know, is that crazy? Uh, I barely know this incarnation of Eggman or Sonic. I gave Unleashed trouble for being a confusing reintroduction to Sonic's world, uh, but at least BAM! Eggman is a villain outright with giant spaceship and explosions and epic action! In Boom, he's just kinda trolling Sonic, I guess? A and consider how easy Sonic lets him stay over at his house. This doesn't seem to be a big deal to, to begin with. Eggman's more Sonic's weird, smelly classmate than, than an actual evil scientist. And if you think that's just a TV show and it's the Wii U game that will introduce the world to us, um, no. The game opens with Sonic and friends already chasing Eggman. As I said, Eggman doesn't have a bomb or a spaceship or any threat. The only reason we know he's evil is because he literally mentions talking like a villain. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I'm bad guy. I fight good guy. Interesting. What is Knuckles? Is he still a guardian? Is he something else? Is he friends with Sonic? Apparently not, because he's not even considered as a Sonic sidekick. But what is he? I don't know. He's stupid, I guess. Like Shadow, for example. He's clearly a reboot version, as he's even more violent and angry and antisocial than he even was in Sonic Adventure 2 and the bad endings of his game. Yet Sonic already knows him. What? 
Dude, it's a reboot! Let them meet for the first time so we can establish who the heck this guy is. But now it's like, hey, look, audience, it's Shadow! And we're supposed to cheer? There you go, kids! Love this character! It's random! I hate friends, I want to murder you guy! Yay! Buy his action figure now! I don't get this. Establish things! You're acting like this is a straight sequel to the main games. Except the characters are too out of character to work as a straight sequel, but you're throwing in them in too casually to work as a reimagining? It, it, it's confusing. Fanboys are annoyed because the characters are weird, and newcomers don't care because nothing is established and they can't relate with anything. Uh, you can easily replace all the characters with other generic characters and it has zero impact on the jokes or structure. There's no context. If it was just a random sequel for the handheld, that's one thing, but remember, this is a franchise starter! This is the game that has to make us run to the stores demanding for t-shirts and coffee mugs with our heroes on it! So, you want me to buy Sonic action figures, so excite me! Who's our new hero? What's he doing? What does he want? How can I relate? So other than that he's a hero person. We'll talk about it in depth in the future. Or not. I don't care. This game wasn't meant for Sonic fans, as the developer said, so I'll gladly take that invitation to ignore this. Look, everyone already hates this game, so I don't feel like complaining. So, eh, whatever.